Daguerreotypes are a kind of still image. They look almost like little mirrors with portraits on them, and they were popular in the mid-1800s before any other kind of film process was developed. The University of Rochester has an exhibit of these relics on display at the Rush Reese Library, and they've recently added a daguerreotype of Frederick Douglass. Lori Burrell is the curator of the Frederick Douglass Papers for the university. This is a daguerreotype that was taken, you know, just after he moved to Rochester. He's just starting his newspaper, The North Star. He's meeting people like Isaac and Amy Post, who lived here in Rochester, and were also friends with Susan B. Anthony. And so he's really becoming a part of the fabric of Rochester society. Frederick Douglass was still a fugitive at the time it was taken, and he gave it to Susan B. Anthony. But not only does the artifact tell a story of cultural significance, it's also being studied by researchers like Nicholas Bigelow, who's a professor of physics and optics. We've also learned certain kind of unexpected things about how some of the daguerreotype process could actually be used for nanofabrication of thin metal films. In other words, it's possible that these daguerreotypists, who didn't even know about atoms yet, could have something to teach us about nanotechnology. Veronica Volk, WXXI News.